In this example, we're going to create a simple box that has minimal parameters, is completely parametric based on those parameters, and can be adjusted for different material thicknesses. In this case, if the height of our box changes to greater than two, then we're going to use quarter inch material, so our wall thickness will be quarter inch. Otherwise, if it's below two, we'll make sure that it's an eighth of an inch material. So we'll deal with some parameters and we'll also get into basic iLogic conditional statements. So let's start a new part and we'll start it in inches. I'm going to start by adding my parameters before I draw anything. So I'll go to manage and click parameters. I'll add a numeric and I'll do the length, the width and the height. I'm also going to add a parameter for the thickness of my material. That should be most of the parameters we need to complete this box. To make sure that I can understand which dimension is which when I go to put these par user parameters in, I'm just going to offset some of these values. So I'll make the length 7, I'll make the width 5, and for now I'll just make the height 1.5. Uh, that way I can tell the difference between all my dimensions. I'm also going to make this an eighth of an inch because I know that below two it's going to be eighth of an inch. So I'll just put that in and these are just starting values. Now I can go to my sketch menu and I'll start a 2D sketch. I'll draw a rectangle. We can constrain it to the origin for now. And this is where we can enter our parameters straight up. This should be my width. And then the other dimension should be my length. And that will give me my outside dimensions. I'm going to finish my sketch. I will extrude this. The distance is going to be my height. And I'll hit OK. I've got now a fully parametric box that I can adjust the length, width, and height. From here, I am going to quickly use a 3D feature, and we're just going to shell the inside of the box out. I'll select this top face to shell from so that the bottom of my box stays. The thickness is just going to be material. Now my box is complete. I need to create a rule so that when the height does change, the material changes. Right now, I have to change all of those things independently. So let's go back to our manage and let's check out our iLogic browser. That should pop up right next to your model browser. And we have no rules right now. So let's click add rule. And I'm gonna call this material underscore height. So I know that I'm changing my material to my height. When we hit OK, we get a basic screen here. We can go through our part here and look at the model browser straight up. So when I click user parameters, my length, width, height, material is all right here. So I'm going to leave those up. Same with my model parameters. You can see that D0 is my user parameter. I'm going to create a very simple statement. We can use an if then and else, and since we only have two conditions, we can make it really simple. So you can start with this drop down, and let's just click if then, and then end the expression just to get started. And we'll say if height is greater than two, then material. equals 0.25. So that's our quarter inch. That should create a simple change the height to above 2. It should be 0.25. The problem with this is that now when I go to change it to 1.9 or below 2, uh, it's not going to adjust. So we need, then we would have to go back in and change our material to 0.125 manually. So we actually want an else statement after there. So let's add in that else statement. Else material equals 0.125. So 
So now we're just saying, if the height is greater than two, then make the material 0.25. For all other conditions, the material should be 0.125. We will save and run. And if everything goes according to plan, we have a new rule called material height in our iLogic browser. And if we go to change our parameters, let's look at the wall thickness. I'm going to change my height now to 2.1. It's greater than 2. When I click done, my wall thickness also changed. And I can double check, and that's 0.25. If I now go back to my parameters, and let's change this to 1.9, done. My wall thickness is 0.125. Everything is working the way I'd like it. Don't forget to save this box.